Many thanks for staying with us. And in other news, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, has called for the support of the Southeast, saying he is the region's surest route to the presidency. He made the comment while addressing party supporters during his campaign rally in Orca, the Anambra State Capital, on Thursday. Atiku also promised to revive industries in the region, vowing to dredge the river Niger to boost economic activities. Atiku's running mate, Ifanyo Okowa, who accompanied him to the rally, said the PDP chieftain is the best option for Nigeria. And still on the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, who has promised to ensure that the Onicha port becomes operational as well as resuscitate industries in the southeast in order to boost the nation's economy. Atiku said this while addressing party supporters during his campaign rally in Orca, the Anambra state capital, on Thursday. He explained that these were part of the request made by the Anambra state governor, Chukuma Soludo, when he met him hours before the commencement of the campaign. Atiku also pledged to empower women and youths, including traders and startups, with $10 billion. Inspector General of Police, IGP Usman al Kali Baba, yesterday assured President Muhammad Buhari that the police force will ensure free, fair, and credible elections in 2023. He warned criminals attacking independent National Electoral Commission, INEC offices, and other facilities that the police and other security agencies would not tolerate such barbaric acts. Baba spoke at an emergency meeting with commissioners of police and other top officers at the first headquarters in Abuja following incessant attacks on INEC facilities in some parts of the country. He urged the police chiefs to curb the persistent insecurity threatening the nation's peace. Baba advised the officers not to compromise the election process, saying any officer found guilty would face the law. Commenting on the incessant attacks on INEC facilities, the IGP said measures have been put in place to prevent future occurrences, apprehend culprits, and bring culprits to book. The River State All Progressives Congress 2023 Campaign Council has hailed the Court of Appeal, Port Harcourt, for setting aside the judgment of the Federal High Court that sacks the party's governorship candidate, Tonya Cole, as well as national and state assembly candidate. A court presided over by Justice Emmanuel Obili in Port Harcourt had sacked the candidate of the APC following a suit filed by Judge Olu and five others over their claims of exclusion from the party's delegate congresses. The Court of Appeal gave the decision in three separate judgments on an appeal brought by the APC, Cole, and the National and State Assembly candidates. The while Shaibo held that the respondent did not participate in the Congress of the APC and so do not have any cause of action. The judge further said it was inconceivable for the Federal High Court judge not to have joined some candidates of the APC who are interested parties in the suit. The panel stated that the nomination of delegates and political parties is strictly the party's business and that the court lacks jurisdiction to hear the case from the start. He thereby set aside the judgment against the APC and awarded the sum of 500,000 Naira for each of the three cases as costs against the appeal respondents in favor of the APC. In a later situation, in a 15-ground appeal instituted by Senatorial Federal House of Representatives and State Assembly candidates, the court held that the aggrieved defendant at appeal did not exhaust the internal mechanisms as provided by the party's constitution before going to court. Lawal Shaibo said the judge was in serious error for not going into the merits of the matter, questioning how the court got reasons to deliver its judgment without properly examining the matter. Justice Lawal Shaibo said the appeals by APC, Coal and Assembly candidates were meritorious and were allowed. The River State APC 2023 Campaign Council, while hailing the judgment, commended the judiciary for standing on the path of justice. The council spokesperson, Shudaye Eli, said the ruling would allow Rivers residents to vote for the candidate of their choice, 
require also urging polit politicians to approach democracy with fairness and responsibility. The National Assembly's Joint Committee on Niger Delta Affairs yesterday began the screening of President Muhammad Buhari's nominees for the chairmanship and members of the Niger Delta Development Commission Board. The President had on November 25 written the Senate for the confirmation of his special assistant on new media, Loretta Onachi from Delta State, for appointment as chairman of NDDC, as well as 14 other board members of the Regional Intervention Agency. In what appeared to be a move to give on a chase of landing during the screening, the committee did not allow her to respond to the questions posed to her. Acting Committee Chairman Bulus Amos, APC Gumbe South, told members of the Joint Committee that all issues surrounding her nomination should be discussed at an executive session. Onachi had said her vision as NDDC chairman would be to redefine the true meaning of empowerment for the youth in the region. The presidential aide said the proposed board under her chairmanship would work as a team to deliver projects and empower the people. The Nigerian army has promoted 52 brigadier generals and 70 colonels in the latest list of senior officers across the country. In a statement on Friday, the Director of Army Public Relations, Brigadier General Onyema Mwachuku, said the beneficiaries were promoted in recognition of the meritorious service to the nation. While a total of 52 Brigadier Generals were meritoriously promoted to the rank of Major General, 70 Colonels were also elevated to the rank of Brigadier General. In recognition of their meritorious service to the nation, the Army Council has on Thursday, December 15, 2022, approved the promotion of senior officers to the ranks of Major General and Brigadier General, the statement partly read. In a promotion signed and released by the Military Secretary, a total of 122 senior officers of the ranks of Brigadier General and Colonels were elevated to the next higher rank. Some of those promoted to the rank of Major General are Brigadier Generals A.A. Anyonoga of the Department of Army Transformation and Innovation, E.H. Akpan of Theater Command Operation Harding Kai, M.M. Jega of the Defense Headquarters, J.O. Ugwoke of the Department of Army Logistics, P.A.O. Okoye of the Department of Army Operations, E.F. Onyelala of the Department of Special Services and Programs, a. Adekeye of 21 Special Armored Brigade, School of Electrical and Mechanical, Mechanical Engineers, A.B. Mohammed of Army Headquarters, and M.T. Usman of the Headquarters Guards Brigade. Some of the colonels elevated to the rank of Brigadier General are Colonels A.O. Ajagbe, amongst others. We'll take a break when we'll come back. We'll bring you more stories.